Do you know all of the benefits and tools available within selling apps? Online shopping has increased majorly over the years, and the trend doesn't seem to be stopping. In fact, the total revenue from online retail shopping in the U.S. is projected to reach $1.3 trillion by 2025. Needless to say, if you're not competing in the online retail space, you're missing out. These online shoppers utilize retail websites as well as mobile apps. I'm Sissy, and in today's video, we'll discuss the benefits of creating a selling app, some useful interface tools, and how to create one. Let's go. Creating a great selling app can be time and energy consuming, but it can be well worth the effort. There are so many great benefits to using a selling app. For starters, you can increase sales and customer loyalty, as well as garner brand recognition and increase customer convenience. Did you know your mobile selling app can keep your customers in the loop via notifications? Through every step of the purchasing process, you can send notifications about purchases, upcoming sales, and loyalty programs. This keeps customers engaged with your brand. When it comes time to build your app, it's imperative that you take some time to consider which features are important for your brand to include. Your app should include, at minimum, these two components, a customer panel and an admin panel. The customer panel is for those using the app to make purchases, whereas your admin panel is used by your team to maintain the online retail app. First, let's look at customer panels. Here are six features a good customer panel should have. A user login. This feature helps existing customers save their info, making future purchases easier. They can even connect their social media accounts to share what they've purchased. If a user prefers not to create an account, they can always check out with a guest checkout feature. User profiles. A user profile can be helpful for your customer to store necessary information like their shipping address, billing address, payment info, and purchasing history. Again, having these details saved can streamline future purchases. Product catalog. If you're selling items via an app, you have to provide a list of all of the items you're trying to sell. You can also add description tags to your item list. This allows customers to search for products more easily, allowing them to filter by size, color, style, and varying other characteristics. Product search. Similar to the product catalog filtering system, you want to provide a search function that allows customers to look up a product by name or description. Shopping cart. This is a basic but crucial feature. A shopping cart facilitates your customer's shopping experience and allows them to add and remove items they're interested in purchasing. Users can also enter promo codes into the shopping cart feature and complete payments as well. Online payment functionality. This is the specific feature needed to complete customer payments. By using a third-party payment system like PayPal, Stripe, or Apple Pay, you can allow customers to purchase their items securely and with ease. Now let's take a look at some important admin panel features you should have. Sign in. Your administrators should be able to create and sign into their profiles quickly and securely. Admin roles. Each admin team member will have specific allowances based on their roles. A super user can assign these different roles, allowing access to certain employees so they can complete their specific tasks. Dashboards. This is your home base for your admin team. Administrators can see necessary info for their specific roles all in one place. Customer chatbot. A chatbot feature is incredibly helpful in fielding online customer support inquiries. This feature helps save time for your admin team as it automates the customer support process and fields frequently asked questions. Analytics dashboard. Similar to the main dashboard, an analytics dashboard will be home to all of your analytical information. Your admin team can quickly access data regarding the number of purchases and transactions, as well as total revenue. Your team can also analyze various other sales data via tools like Google Analytics, Flurry, and Firebase. As I mentioned before, creating a selling app can be time consuming. It can also be a costly venture, but if you want to save time and money, you must choose the right software. Jotform Store Builder is a great tool to use. It allows users to create mobile store apps and provides tons of widget options for easy customization. What's really wonderful about Jotform Store Builder is how many third-party apps it can easily integrate with. 
We're talking 25 plus payment gateways and more than 100 store templates to get you started. There are also plenty of JotForm YouTube tutorials that can walk you through each step of the process, in case you need more of a guided approach to creating your selling app. Whether you're selling products, services, subscriptions, or something else, JotForm has you covered. Opening your business up to online sales is important if you want to stay relevant with the competition. And one surefire way to kick up your online sales a notch is launching a selling app. Let's review. There are lots of benefits to creating a selling app. You'll increase your sales and customer loyalty, garner brand recognition, and increase customer convenience. Make sure to provide lots of helpful features in your selling app for both your customers and your administrative team. This will ensure a smooth and easy online retail experience for both your team and your customers. Until next time, I'm Sissy with Jotform. Make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.